over the years I have been very much involved in the development of the programs. I've been the chair in 2005 um, and so I have practically in all of them played an active role but I must say I would have come anyway because it is for me a perfect update on what's happening in the pharmaceutical environment and uh, it's a wonderful op opportunity to meet a lot of people again that I would not meet during the year and uh, it's a lot of uh, opportunities also to um, find out what's happening um, in the industry, in the environment. I think that uh, the, these reasons and to attend the Euro meeting remains the same. Uh, first, of course, to share knowledge with colleagues, then to meet regulators, and uh, then to uh, have an opportunity, a great opportunity, uh, to exchange the experience with the other colleagues. There were some sessions that were of interest to me, including personalised medicines, which um, I'm studying pharmaco statistical pharmacogenetics at the moment, and also uh, there's a session on statistics as well, which was fa I found of interest. So I submitted a poster. I've been involved with the uh, DA in, maybe in the last 10 years, and I came from Mexico, and actually, you know, been involved with, as a speaker at the very beginning. That eventually took me to, you know, participate with other committees and members, you know, through all these years that uh, perhaps, you know, was the opportunity for us or as a Mexico bring DIA into the country and not only into the country but into the region. So at this point, you know, we're working with many in, uh, uh, countries in Latin America, you know, bringing uh, programs, uh, uh, DIA programs into it that also we can expand the knowledge of the industry at an uh, uh, international level. So this experience has been what I have brought into the DIA and also have led me to you know, participate, you know, not only as a speaker, but also into many other committees. I'm an editor from the British Medical Journal, the BMJ, and you might think, what is a medical journal editor doing at a pharmaceutical meeting? But the DIA is an independent, not-for-profit organization, and it's important for editors to meet people from industry to try and help uh, get the messages of clinical research out uh, in an accurate uh, and reliable way. So